Hello everyone and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In the next episode of General Hospital, Sam still has time to reconsider donating a portion of her liver to lover Dante's ex-wife, Lulu, and she has every reason to do so. A blood clot has significantly reduced Lulu's chances of life even after the transplant. In the October 21st episode, Lucky enlisted the help of his reluctant friend Isaiah to perform not only surgery but also a miracle. However, Sam is not obligated to participate in this Hail Mary play. In fact, in the most recent preview, she is astonished to learn that Isaiah would now be performing the operation. Given everything Sam has to live for, her children, her relationship, her sisters, her entire future, she'd be forced to reconsider the donation. What's the point of Sam putting her life and health at danger if Lulu has a slim chance of survival? General Hospital spoilers and updates for Tuesday, October 22nd reveal that it's time to show his stuff, a miraculous man steps forward, and shameful allegations. Marshall Ashford must demonstrate his abilities, Miracle Man Isaiah Gannon stands up, and Holly Sutton faces humiliating charges. Marshall is prepared to shine at the Savoy, with Curtis Ashford encouraging him to strut his stuff and showcase his talents to the world. Curtis is planning a spectacular farewell party to commemorate his father as he prepares to leave on a tour with Wynton Marsalis. Marshall brightens with pride, recognizing that a lifelong dream is finally within reach, while he feels a stab of grief about leaving his kid once more. But Curtis has inspired his father to pursue his aspirations and make them a reality. There will be opportunities for home visits in the future, but for now, the road awaits. Nina Reeves receives unexpected news from Ava Jerome during their catch-up session. Nina is taken aback and asks clarification, screaming, You're interested in Rick Lansing? When Nina initially came in Port Charles, Rick caused her great sorrow by pretending to be affectionate while arranging a scheme with her mother, Madeline Reeves. Their strategy attempted to defraud Nina of her money, but it ultimately failed, exposing them. Will Nina be able to persuade Ava not to pursue a relationship with Rick, or does she believe they are a good match and that Ava is capable of handling herself? She needs to reveal that Rick and Ava share nasty little secrets. Elizabeth Baldwin appears unconcerned about Rick's shenanigans, as indicated by her reply at the hospital nurse's station when she inquires about his most recent escapade. Rick has some news to share with Elizabeth, which may be related to his involvement in representing Heather Weber and the current inquiry into test result discrepancies. He launched the investigation to learn the truth about Heather's post-surgery blood testing. Fans may recall that Portia Robinson interfered with the findings to prevent Heather's release from Pentonville. However, Brad Cooper discovered the truth and is now utilizing it to strengthen his position. Lucky Spencer persuaded Isaiah to attempt the transplant surgery on Lulu Spencer and Sam McCall. Now, Isaiah's new friend Jordan Ashford is lending her support, expressing her belief that he has one last miracle in him after sharing his background with her. Isaiah's knowledge provides the best chance for Lulu's survival, and he eventually decided to go for it because she won't make it if he doesn't attempt. The Miracle Man will not face this challenge alone, he will be part of Lulu's transplant team. Sam discovers the changes in the surgical team, having lately agreed to the operation despite Lulu's dismal chances of survival. Jordan's depiction of the situation as requiring a miracle strikes a chord with Isaiah, certainly, Lulu's survival will require nothing less than a miracle. Even then, there's no guarantee she'll regain consciousness, as Sam speaks with the original surgeon, she expresses her uncertainty, believing they'll be doing the procedure. This surgeon is likely to be present in the operating room alongside Isaiah, who will lead the procedure. Terry Randolph should speed the hiring process or at least arrange for Isaiah to be classified as a visiting surgeon. Dante Falconeri finds himself in Potsilos, having a deep talk with Sonny Corinthos. They're most likely looking into the irony of Dante's current situation, in which his live-in girlfriend is giving a portion of her liver to his former wife. He thinks about the unexpected twists, wondering who could have imagined such a scenario. Earlier, he had a conversation with his boyhood buddy Cody Bell, who wondered if Dante was attempting to persuade Cody or himself about his emotions for Lola. To make matters even more confusing, the treatment may not even save Lulu. Holly finds herself on the hot seat at the police commissioner's office, where PCPD Commissioner Anna Devane launches a barrage of vehement charges. 
Anna glares at Holly, clearly referring to Robert Scorpio and the sudden disclosure of Holly's adult daughter, Sasha Corbin, claiming that Holly's actions is beneath her. While Anna did keep Robin Scorpio Drake's existence hidden from Robert until she was eight years old, her motivation was to protect her from their foes. In contrast, Holly has admitted to Robert that if the Cody-Sasha incident had not occurred, she would have kept Sasha's true father unknown. This raises questions about her intentions, is it simply a matter of self-preservation? It certainly casts doubt on whether this is just another ploy. Today on General Hospital, Terry informs Lulu of her problem, Violet bids her farewell, and Holly faces the music alongside Robert. Terry informs Laura on today's episode of General Hospital that Lulu's surgery may have a problem. Lucky and Liz come just as she is getting into the specifics, so the doctor directs them to her office. Lulu has portal vein thrombosis, which makes successful surgery exponentially more difficult. It means there is a blood clot in the vein that delivers blood to the liver, which will need to be removed during surgery, significantly reducing Lulu's chances of survival. Laura sees just one option, however. Without the procedure, she will undoubtedly die. Terry makes it obvious that the surgery is unlikely to save Lulu. They must notify Sam of the potential issues, and it is her decision whether or not to proceed. No one at the hospital has done a surgery in these conditions, which reduces Lulu's chances. Lucky steps forward and asks, what if I could improve those odds? Liz returns to the nurse's station, where Isaiah welcomes her before Lucas runs over and says they're the two people he's looking for. He wants to discuss Lulu's failed ventilator and alarm. Lulu would have died if Isaiah hadn't arrived just in time. Lucky appears eager to speak with Isaiah as they reflect on their failure. Lucas and Liz sense something is wrong and investigate Lulu's chart. Oh, God, Liz exclaims. Lucas understands that while the transplant may save her life, it does not guarantee she will wake up or have a nice life. He feels the desire to talk to Laura and Lucky. Do you really want to tell them to give up on Lulu? Liz asks. Alone, Lucky asks Isaiah if he knows somebody who has dealt with this issue previously, and when he is told there isn't time to get them there, Lucky just asks Isaiah if he does. Although the patient was able to survive. According to General Hospital spoilers, Cody Bell and Tracy Cordemain enjoy a wonderful friendship. Cody was there for Tracy when she wanted to return to horseback riding, and he helped relieve the grief of Gregory Chase and Dr. Hamilton Finn's departure from town. While Tracy and Cody are only buddies, the soap has hinted at something more between the two. Tracy hasn't been particularly friendly to Sasha Corbin since becoming Cody's gal pal, so there are obviously some strange vibes developing. In fact, she's yelled at Sasha several times. Still, is Tracy responding out of envy, or does Sasha simply rub her wrong? There are a lot of shifting components in this tale right now, and Sasha and Cody may be gone shortly. During the week of October 14th to 18th, it was discovered that Sasha's mother was Holly Sutton and her father could be Robert Scorpio. As fans wait for the DNA test results, if Robert is Sasha's father, she would be Cody's cousin, as Cody is Max Scorpio's son. This arc also includes Cody considering owning Serenity, the horse farm where he grew up. He's been saving for it for quite some time, and it's his dream. Interestingly, it appeared on the market last week, just before fans discovered about Sasha's real mother and father, but, Cody is unable to purchase it since he has the six million dollars required. Tracy, on the other hand, does, and despite Cody's protestations, she is likely to give him the money. Whether it's through a loan or by acquiring Serenity and signing his name on the property. It appears that the show is preparing an exit storyline for Cody. He would not only be pursuing his ambition, but he would also make things much easier for him and Sasha by leaving town. Cody and Tracy's relationship does not appear to be progressing beyond friendship. Sure, there's an age gap, but watching them canoodle would have the same feeling that viewers had when Jason Morgan and Anna Devane kissed, as well as Drew Cordemain and Willow Corinthos. Cody will, however, have some meaningful goodbyes and painful sequences with his father, Mac, stepsister Maxie Jones, and nephew James West before leaving town. He will most likely enjoy a great moment with Tracy. Could the two get caught up in their emotions and end up enjoying a hot kiss? Tracy and Cody might have had a fantastic romance at a different period. 
Still, if Cody moves in for the kiss, it would not only surprise GH fans, but it would also be an intriguing way for him to exit. General Hospital spoilers suggest that viewers should always expect the unexpected. Cody and Tracy's relationship in Port Charles might not work at this point, but it would be fun to see the two enjoy a kiss before he sails off alone into the sunset. Sometimes goodbyes are nearly unbearable, and that's precisely how we felt today as Violet bid goodbye to her family and General Hospital. We had hoped that Finn's release from rehab would signal his comeback or, at the very least, that he would opt to leave Violet with Chase and Brooklyn while he went off and got his life back on track. But Finn was not just not returning, we also discovered on Friday that he had obtained a new job in Seattle, and Violet was scheduled to join him. Unfortunately, there was no last-minute ruse, and while we think Violet should be with her father, that didn't make saying goodbye any easier on Monday, October 21st. You can read the summary here, but be prepared for a devastating goodbye that we could barely contain. We weren't alone, though, as the tears in everyone's eyes revealed that it wasn't just the characters' hearts that were breaking, but also their portrayers. As Violet said her final goodbyes, her eyes red from sobbing, our hearts went out to Jaffiel Love, who, we can only assume, was experiencing the same feelings as her character. Love has been with General Hospital for the past five years, ever since Finn's darling daughter appeared in 2019, after her mother Hayden abandoned her in Port Charles. As difficult as it was to see Violet say goodbye to her father earlier this year, this was nearly harder. On Love's official Instagram account, the amazing actress mother posted on Friday, when it appeared that Violet was departing, asking, what do you all think about today's episode? As Jean and Towery Gilliland stated in the comments, the news was bittersweet. Violet should be with her father, and both should be in Port Charles. And everyone agreed that this was a difficult departure to understand, let alone forgive. Nonetheless, as admirer Beth Hawkins commented, that little child will play some important roles in her future. She's incredibly talented. That may be the understatement of the year, but as a number of other fans pointed out, Love's fans can still find her on ABC, where she will be recurring on Will Trent when the show returns for its third season. For the time being, however, please join us in saying farewell to Love after her outstanding work on General Hospital over the last five years. Hopefully, as is often the case throughout the day, we'll see her in Port Charles again someday. More than six months have passed since General Hospital condemned Spencer Cassidine to his drowning fate, and actor Nicholas Alexander Chavez has made a name for himself in primetime. While that is a short amount of time in real life, it is an eternity in soap opera land. Trina Robinson, Spencer's bereaved girlfriend, may now be regaining her energy. Jens Austin Astrup, a Gossip Girl veteran, has been cast as the beautiful Kai, who will meet Trina at Port Charles University. Our sister site Deadline, which broke the news, also revealed that the daytime newcomer will debut in November. In addition to Max's Gossip Girl, the rising star has acted in a few short films and, as a child, two episodes of The King of Queens. Astrup's casting comes while the revolving door at General Hospital is truly spinning. Alexa Havens, who played Babe on All My Children, will shortly make her debut as a recast Lulu Spencer. Emma Sams and Jonathan Jackson recently returned their roles as Holly Sutton and Lucky Spencer respectively. Saw Andy Wilson has taken over as Dr. Isaiah Gannon, followed by Van Hansis as a recast Lucas Jones and, last, Scott Reeves as Liz Weber's brother, Steve. Perry Shin reprises his role as Brad. According to General Hospital spoilers, Christina Corinthos Davis has been publicly criticizing Ava Jerome and vowing to make her pay, which is the last thing she should be doing. Alexis Davis cautioned Christina that she was giving Rick Lansing precisely what he wanted, which may jeopardize the case against Ava. Similarly, Molly Lansing Davis is concerned that Christina is making mistakes that could allow Ava to escape off the hook. If Ava does not receive justice in court, Christina may be tempted to take matters into her own hands. Since is more true now since Christina is about to receive a severe blow. Christina will be devastated by Sam McCall's impending death, which will only exacerbate her suffering. Christina had already tried to grieve over her baby and found a way to move on. Christina's loss of Sam may push her over the edge, allowing her to do anything. It's easy to envision Christina concluding that people like Ava shouldn't be allowed to live after Sam died after donating a portion of her liver to Lulu Spencer. Sam will not survive her recent hospital visit, whether it is due to medical issues or something more sinister, such as Cyrus Renault's plot. 
Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.